Okay, welcome to another video in the uh, App Trainer's Microsoft Office Excel 2010 basic video series. Thanks for watching today. We're going to be doing uh, Unit 1 today, getting started with Excel. And we're going to be um, pretty much doing a lot of the basic fundamental activities in this unit. So there's no prior knowledge or uh, experience with the program necessary to follow along. In uh, detail, we're going to be looking at Topic C specifically today, uh, and that's on navigating a worksheet and uh, some of the selection techniques. And you're going to want to remember what we do in today's video because in some of the later units, uh, especially the later levels, we're going to be building on these techniques, and they're absolutely required for uh, some of the later advanced techniques that we'll be covering. So thanks for watching and enjoy. Okay, welcome to another video in the Excel 2010 uh, basic training video series. Uh, still working through Unit 1 here. This is the uh, final video in Unit 1, and this is going to be on navigating and uh, selection techniques. So I brought up an example of a spreadsheet. Uh, this is just a very basic example. I've got a list of all sorts of employees at a fictitious company, and I've got their names, uh, their ID numbers, employee numbers, division, region, so on and so forth. That's all laid out here real nicely in this example. Um, now before we can do any sort of analysis or organization, um, we've got to know how to navigate and select different parts of our spreadsheet. So there's two main ways to do it. Uh, you can use your mouse or your keyboard. I'm going to go through the mouse first and then we'll take a look at the keyboard. So it just kind of depends on what feels more comfortable for you, right? A lot of people I know like to keep their hands on the keyboard as much as possible so they can become more efficient and they learn all the shortcuts right other people like to use the mouse because they feel more in control that way but again you just feel what you're most comfortable with so starting with the mouse right easiest way to select the cell is just to sim simply single click it right that'll highlight the cell you want it'll take you uh, it'll take you right there and you have uh, you have the opportunity to do whatever you want with the, the information in this cell okay um, of course, to scroll up and down, you've got your vertical scroll bar. Uh, you can simply click the arrows. That'll move one line at a time up or down. Uh, but I like to click and hold on the uh, bar itself. That scrolls a little bit faster. And same with the horizontal scroll bar, scroll bar as well. Um, regarding selection techniques with your mouse, again, one click on the cell will select the cell. Uh, if you double click any of the cells, that goes... Uh, that puts Excel into what's called edit mode. And again, you're going to see this come up on your status bar on the bottom left, right? That tells you that you're allowed to edit any type of information in that cell. Okay. So again, one click to select, two clicks to edit. You can simply hit the escape button to go back to ready mode, right? Escape or enter will actually do that. Anyway, for selecting different cells or multiple cells, um, it simply requires you to hold down your mouse button and drag over the area that you'd like to select. All right, so I can select A3, click and hold on my mouse, and maybe I want to go down to G9, and then I release on top of G9. That selects the whole entire area. This is useful for if you want to do um, quick formats to uh, multiple amounts of information. Right? You don't want to have to do the same thing 20 times. You can just select the 20 cells and make one action, one formatting action. Okay. Um, one other selection technique you can use with the mouse is, let's say I want to select um, the area from A3 to G3, but I also want to select A5 to G5, right? I don't want to include A4 to G4, right? But every time I try to select over that area, it's including the middle, or if I'm selecting the first row 3, and I try to select the second row 5, uh, it gets rid of that first selection in row 3. So the way to get around that is to first select the first area <coughs> at first. Then you hold down your control key on your keyboard. doesn't matter which one. There's two, one on the left, one on the right. And hold that down. And now, as long as I hold that down, I'm able to select multiple areas of my worksheet without the first selection going away or disappearing. Right. So I can hold down control and click on a multiple uh, selection of different cells and it's going to keep all those previous selections intact right until I release control and I make my next selection then they all disappear right so I can again do this as much as I need to as long as I hold down the control button on my keyboard so pretty convenient 
Now, um, with the keyboard controls, basically your navigation works like this. You can use the up, down, left, right arrows to move one cell at a time in any direction, right? You can also hold, you can also hit the tab key to move one cell to the right. If I hold down shift and hit tab, that'll move one cell to the left. Okay, enter moves one cell down as well. Okay, now let's say I want to move down one sheet at a time. Well, instead of holding down the down arrow, right, I take a lot of time, I can simply hold down the, or I can simply hit the page down button on my keyboard, right? Uh, this might be above your arrow keys, it might be next to them depending on what type of keyboard you have, but that'll move one screen vertically uh, downwards. If I hit the page up key on my keyboard, that moves vertically one page uh, up. Now let's say I want to move one page horizontally left or right. Well, I could do that as well, but I've just got to hold down, in this case, the um, Alt button, and I can move left or right one page at a time. Okay, so very useful if you have lots of information and you need to scroll there quickly. Okay, uh, another way you can get to a specific cell very quickly, let's say you know the cell you want to go to, but um, you don't want to scroll there. Maybe you have 200 lines or you have 100 columns, right? You need to get there really quickly. Uh, you can click up in your name box up here and you can type in the cell that you want to get to. So say I need to get to cell uh, G40 real quickly. I can type in G40, I'll hit enter, and it takes me right there, right? So no reason to even scroll through all the intermediary, uh, intermediate data. But I can get right there directly. Okay. Um, to make selection with your keyboard, uh, it works the same way as your navigation controls, but this time you're gonna hold down shift as you navigate up, down, left, or right. And as long as I'm holding down shift, it'll also select different parts of data within my Excel spreadsheet, right? As soon as I let go of shift and I start navigating again, that's gonna uh, deselect all the previously selected information. So I can hold down shift, hit up, down, left, right. Uh, I can also hold down shift and hit page down or page up, or hold down shift and the alt key and hit page down or page up. And this will kind of uh, speed up my selection process with the keyboard. However, one thing you cannot do with the keyboard that you can do with the mouse is do the uh, non-contiguous data selection. Remember, that was with uh, one, one row and another row that was uh, didn't have a continuous range of data selected, right? So while I can do this with my mouse, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that with the keyboard. Okay, so if you're looking to do the non-contiguous data selection, you're going to have to use the mouse while holding down your control button, right? Um, last but not least, let's say you want to quickly select all the data in your Excel spreadsheet. Maybe either you know, maybe you wanted to delete the data, or you wanted to make one universal change to all the data. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. There's a keyboard shortcut. Uh, you can hold down your control key on your keyboard and tap the A button, right? And that's going to select the entire range of data that you have your cursor in, right? So uh, if I have my cursor within this uh, area in my list of employee information and I hit down control A, that selects that entire range, right? Now, uh, if I have another cell selected that's outside any uh, defined range, Right, say L10, there's nothing in L10, and I do a control A, that selects the entire worksheet, okay? So there's a little bit of uh, intelligence going on uh, behind the doors, uh, behind the curtains with Excel 2010. Um, <coughs> there's a shortcut as well with your mouse to select the entire worksheet, and that's this little box between the A and the one, right? If I click on that cell, that's a shortcut for selecting <coughs> the entire worksheet. Okay, again, useful for universal changes that you want to quickly make to all of your data. Okay, so um, <coughs> gave you a lot of shortcuts um, with both your keyboard controls and your mouse controls for selection and navigating throughout your worksheets. Again, this is a key uh, <coughs> technique that you're going to want to remember as you use Excel uh, and we get into some of the more complex techniques. So uh, make sure you remember this. I uh, hope it was helpful for you and um, I look forward to seeing you in some of my later videos uh, in unit 2. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.